have you ever seen, have you ever felt like an NFL head coach has gotten fired because they can't stop anybody? You know, no, no. I, it's more so they, they get fired. If they can't score points, right? The defensive coordinator gets I mean, fired. If you yeah, can't stop sure. somebody, but yeah, the head coach's job is never on the line. If, uh, if, if they can't stop anybody, it's, it's a matter if they can't score points and, uh, because that's just the most, that's the most glaring, obvious thing. Um, because you can you can still play good defense and give up some points, you know. A lot. Of, I mean, there's a oh, lot sure. of ways. Te- there's other ways teams can score too, besides scoring on your defense. Um, there's, you know, and I guess there's other ways you can score points. Also, your defense can score special teams, etc. But offense is just such a critical part of the game, <laughs> um, and especially now the way the game's played and and the the rules even dictate towards explosive offensive football. And if you are struggling in that department, it's going to be glaring, which has happened to um, our friend Robert Sala. And I have a stat for you on that. Iceman stat of the week, as I always bring something to the table, you talked about Robert Sala. So poor Robert Sala was fired by the New York Jets five games in, which is one of the weirdest decisions ever. We're going to talk about that afterward. But you also talked about scoring points. So I have a stat for you about the New York Jets and scoring points. Are you ready? (laughs) Always. I can't wait. All right. So this is points scored weeks one through five. In 2023, the New York Jets scored 93 points. They did not have Aaron Rodgers at quarterback last year. 2024, Brad, do you know how many points the New York Jets have scored through weeks one through five? I don't know. 74. 93 points. Same. So that is why Robert Sala was going to get fired anyway. But Robert Sala gets fired from the Jets. And that is your stat to kind of give you a little bit of context on that. And my goodness, the New York Jets. So. I just want to say this because I think it's worth saying out loud. The New York Jets are one of those franchises in all of sports that we know cannot be trusted with anything. We know in some shape or form, they're going to screw it up. Whatever good thing that they get, they're going to screw it up. And that is why, if you look historically across the NFL, the New York Jets, despite that one championship in the 60s with Joe Namath, have accomplished nothing. I think that's fair to say. And that's not me trying to disparage Jets fans. I know that there's so many passionate Jets fans, so many people who want to see the Jets do well. Our buddy Cleve from Political Football and just our friend in general. I want to see the Jets win for him. But it's stupid stuff like this that has been historically happening with the Jets that is why they are who they are. It's why nobody can take them seriously. And even this move, Robert Sala getting fired after, like, why? This doesn't make any sense at this time. Nothing about this makes sense. And it's so Jets. That's the thing. Dude, Robert Sala is ass. Like, I know that, I, but like, <laughs> like, there's no difference. Like, the reason he got fired is because Aaron Rodgers is ass. That's why. Maybe so. But like, whether the quarterback was Aaron Rodgers or... Kenny Rogers. I man is with Robert me Sala. This, okay. <laughs> no matter who the quarterback was, like I said, Aaron Rodgers or Kenny Rogers, Robert Sala has struggled. I, I, I'm shocked. That, I don't disagree with you, but there's what, what's the only reason make? he didn't get fired last year is because Rogers got hurt on the third play of the season or whatever. Understood. But what if you knew you didn't want him, why keep him? He didn't they have a choice. Have fired oh, him. Sala? Oh, sure. Yeah, I agree. Why did they fire him in the offseason? They had know. every reason well, to. Sure. Well, I mean, and of course, like they, well, hey, he, you know, his, this, his future Hall of Fame quarterback got, uh, was injured and missed the entire season. Now, I agree. I don't think Rodgers is, uh, you know, he is. He's past his prime. Dust adjacent, as our friends at political football would say. And <laughs> I, Ooh, I don't know. I, he might be dust. He'd just like he, be dust. He might be. Officially dust. I'm not, look. I've been watching him now for five weeks, and I feel like he's only capable of throwing a seven-yard slant. Like, that yeah, offense does not duster. look dynamic at all. Maybe he's closer to dust adjacent. But here's the thing. They went all in on Aaron Rodgers. And I said, okay, fine, go in all in. Go all in on Aaron Rodgers. He gets hurt in four snaps, which, again, is the most Jets thing ever. But 
you put all your chips in on a 40-year-old quarterback, you allow him to have all the power, you allow him to say, I want these guys, I want these guys. And look, Aaron Rodgers can say that he is offended that people would say this, but the fact of the matter is that Woody Johnson is not firing Robert Sala without a phone call or a text message to their star quarterback. There is just no way. And you know what? It's okay. He's the quarterback. He should have some kind of input into that because it's his last year possibly. So are you, do you want an ass head coach? He already had to deal with how many years with Mike McCarthy. So give the man what he wants, but just go out there and say what it is. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, yeah. Aaron Rodgers is an asshole. Like that's that's well known as well. That's not even um, what I'm talking. It about. It doesn't even I'm matter. It doesn't even matter because obviously, I mean, he can't. He's not what he was. He's a shell's former self. But the Jets are one of the most poorly run organizations in football. And I mean, it's. I mean, they are on par with the Browns. Um, I mean, there's there's a few of those franchises that are just historically terrible, and, and they are like slowly creeping to the top of the list. I saw someone like propose the Belichick. The, like, <laughs> Belichick would circle back no. and, and take over the Jets. But no. you think Belichick and Aaron Rodgers would get along? No. I don't. No. Aaron Rodgers is going to retire, just like our commenter has to say there. Like, I just feel like if they don't make the playoffs, he's retiring. Why would you want to come back? Like, where are you going to go? But look, the Jets had an opportunity. It didn't work out. It never works out. 